Start on tour after the storm. One day later, technically. DJ wants to say good morning. DJ. DJ. Nope, he's on the trail of something. Azalea. You can see something a little bit different here. Went ahead and chopped down that hollyhock. Oh, what do we have here? These are the ginormous maple tree branches we lost in the storm. And that's something. They were hooked on the tree. It took us about 10 minutes of yanking to get them down, but they were completely severed, just caught up on branches. Got lucky. Beautiful brown cherry. Got some onions and leeks, radish, nasturtium, and something else back here I forgot. It looks like a bean of some sort. So, some beautiful hollyhocks along the fence line now. Pale pink. Deep pink. This is Broadway. This is the rose bush I'm watching. It looks really healthy, but if you'll notice something, there's no new growth. So it's something to keep an eye on to make see if it's gonna die back. Well, in this one, see the difference? This is the Arizona. There's lots of new growth on here. So this one's looking good. I wanna see what's on there, on there. This is our mock orange. Planted at Bear Root about two weeks ago. It's doing fantastic. This is a new addition to the garden. Hydrangea. It came a deep blue when with our pH, I'm assuming it's gonna end up a lilac purple. And the blue is already changing the purple with the ones that were bloomed out and the new blooms. Look at that, quite beautiful. Some more debris from the storm. I just went ahead and sent it to the yard till I can get to it. We lost this about a week ago, one of these fall gold raspberries. It's still alive, but it's a little beat up. It's getting wind storms that are worse than usual. Strawberry patch. These milkweed smell so beautiful, very floral. What is that? We got something in there. Looks like we got some bug sexy time or something. There's bugs all over this milkweed. Milkweed apparently is the flower of lovers. It's my apple tree. After the storm, it the driving rain and the wind blew off all the surround that was protecting the fruit. So I went ahead and reapplied that last night. bit of a better job. Sunflowers. There's the beautiful path. Forage. Potatoes. This is the little patch of potatoes I recently dug in a video. Little carrots. Dahlias. This is Broccoli Rob gone to seed. How pretty is that? Beautiful yellow. It's so pretty, I might just let it go to seed my yellow garden. There's TJ looking for bunnies in my Dahlia garden. Did you hear me say bunny? Look at this. Gonna have a Dahlia very soon. peach tree. Still loaded with peaches after the storm. Hallelujah. Went ahead and got some surround reapplied. Milk brown cherries popping up all over the place. There's some a little beat up, but they'll do fine. There's another one. I'm keeping them. I counted them. I love ground cherries. 
I have 15 to 20 plants. Another dahlia getting ready to emerge. Nice bundle of peaches. It's a Tropicana rose. These are my great finds. Is that not gorgeous? Peekaboo. No fun grapes. Very prolific. Look at it. Ground cherries. Tons of them. It's a messy hugel. Everything in it's looking great. Oops. Rose tried to take my dress. The purple, this is a radish gone to seed. What do we have here? I actually need to put surround on these as well. He's gonna sniff out every single possible place a bunny might be. More dahlias. You have another one that's gonna bloom soon. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look. Oh, look, it's starting to open. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be a beautiful red dahlia. This is the sweet potato patch. What you eating? What you eating? No one give you food, right? Kobachi, one of my favorite peppers, just putting out. Some Jimmy Nardellos and Melrose. Melrose is my first love for sweet red peppers. Just popping out baby fruits. Very happy. Sunflowers and red heritage. Kugel again, and of course, this is the goat bag. I'd love to see some mega blossoms on it. I thought I did, but I think that was a mushroom basket. This is very typical. You'll see at the bottom of tomato plants, just go ahead and put it to the side and put it somewhere where it won't affect the soil for next year. These cucumbers. We have Biet Alpha, Suyo Long, and Muncher. I think that's a muncher. Oh. So you along? I just had them go up tomato cages. These are steel, they'll last forever. And a quick backside overview of the watermelons, cantaloupe, and squash garden. A cherry tree that doesn't like giving me cherries. Because it's actually Mother Nature. It's not the cherry tree's fault. This is tequila sunrise peppers, Tobago seasoning peppers. As you can see from the at the ends of the branches where it's really light, new little leaves. It's taken off. It got the rain it needed. This is baby poblano. That's what I did. Look at these steaks. That's a cubanel. Cubanel plant. Criolla. Rose compoyo. Bing cherry tree. Another eggplant. I don't really have an eggplant garden. I scatter them. I also put them in my herb spiral because the purple flowers look so pretty. More ground cherry. Mushroom basket. Come on, mega blossoms. It had one, but it lost it, so. 
I don't know. I'm not staking these. I'm letting them go wild and do what they're naturally wanting to do, which is fine. So we're just going to let it vine along the okra. You may notice something new as well. I went ahead and took advantage of some clearance sales and got some mulch for my perennials. Doesn't that look sharp? Is this not gorgeous? Oh my God. Squash. I got some winter squash here. Everything is vining out. Let's see if we can find these squash vine borer eggs. Alright, this is a maxima. I like maximas. This is pretty well covered. Heavy rain kind of washed away. any squash vine borer eggs nor any moths which is really weird not complaining in fact I'm kind of thrilled right now we'll check the summer squash I really like some of the summer, summer squash too especially crook neck yellow Ooh, squash vine borer moths love to lay their eggs on that one And that cultivar is a Cucurbita Pepo. Oh, looks like a seed of dirt. Wow, kind of make it my day here. Gorgeous. Uh-oh, what was that? I hope it was a bee. Oh, here we go. See that little dot? Right in the center. That is a squash vine borer egg. Yep, we got a few on here. Yep, there's another one. Yep. Spoke too soon. Look at this. That is textbook. Yep here and do some work. See this root? That's why I cover with dirt. Look at all these roots. So this plant's going to be able to feed that sweet little baby with these roots. Look at that. That's garden sexy. winter squash. They're all kind of melding together, so I'm not sure what kind it is. But if it's in my garden, it's going to be delicious. What is that other one? I know it's another one. That's going to be a red curry, just looking at the shape. That is also Maxima. Distinctive. Moon and stars, watermelon. Got some kale coming in here. Amongst the sunflowers that are getting tall. You can see these are leaning. That happened because of the storm. So interestingly enough, after a storm, a lot of times what I did, um, I used the opportunity of the wet ground to go ahead and pull up a few of the sunflowers that were crowding others because sunflowers are really hard to get out of the ground clay ground anyway once I start to get a few feet tall so I used that to my advantage and then the few that were bent that I wanted to save I just literally pushed them back <laughs> and kind of tamped down the soil with my foot and that worked it's a random sunflower This 
is a zephyr, which has a really beautiful, interesting coloring. I believe that's a petco, but don't hold me that. I'm gonna check. These are two plants from my mixed packet of scallop squash. I believe from Urban Farmer, but I have to check on that. This is type one. And this is type two. And as you guys know, I'm very excited. I think this is two plants. I'm not sure. We'll just leave it. I'll get next fruit. This is yellow zucchini. Many more watermelon. And here we have our little cantaloupe patch. I like cantaloupe. My husband loves cantaloupe. He's gonna be a happy man this summer. And look what we have peeking between the sunflowers. I don't know why it's so short. That's tobacco in South Dakota. It's probably short because it's in South Dakota. It's like, lady, you're supposed to put me in the South. What are you doing? We have more kale. It's tucked everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. It's coming from near the bottom. I think it's moon glow, but I'm not sure. And my name's hazelnuts. Hazelnut, you have to have two for pollinating purposes. So I have two filberts here. Still not seeing anything on this one. Just planted them a couple weeks ago. My corn. I have a picture of this corn bent over after the storm. Didn't do anything to it. Popped right back on its own. We have our first little sunflower. I have no idea how it ended up so teeny, but here we are. Oh, I should be on it. Sorry, Bee. I'm so sorry, Bee. Second planting of corn. Very sparse. Gotta plant more. It's Montauk. Look what we have here. This is the other hazelnut. We have bud sign. This is the garden that is going to go in my fail video. Because even with a snake, a fake snake, the bunnies do not care. The fake snakes are keeping away the birds, not the bunnies. So DJ's little cauliflower garden is not really doing what I hoped. This is the waning peas in the vertical garden. I don't know if I'll put this in fail, but it does go under do differently next time. How about that? I'll compromise. Hey, DJ, want to say hi? No? Okay. This is my basket tomato. It's a jasper. Recommended by Sharon's, I think it's Home and Garden. What's her channel name? She's in Wisconsin, so gotta follow. Is it wrong? I call this the money shot of every video. You get to see the overview of everything. I cannot get over this. Y'all, if you want to turn your yards into gardens, just do it. It's beautiful and amazing. And yes, some work. If you're a gardener, you're used to the work. There's some potted plants. This got blown over in the storm. I'll re, re scare it. It's a blue gold berry. Look. I did not know a purple robe locust would give you another bloom. I don't know if the spring was weird so it messed things up. But we got another bloom from this beautiful little tree we just planted last year. It's supposed to grow up to, I think, 
two feet a year, which is what we wanted. And we bought it, it was that tall. And it's easily tripled in size in one year. So, so far, super impressed. Half. Hot peppers. Got some beautiful new growth. The coloration's stunning. These peppers are good. I mean, come on. These are gonna ripen to a red. They're Peruvian purple, but they're red in the ripened stage. Fully ripened stage. This is my precious baby, Seeds from Finland. Oh wow, Sugar Rush Stripey. This is Aleppo, another one I'm excited for this year. I have Aleppo babies. Another poblano, because that's our most common pepper. We use for seasoning and cooking. Eggplant's looking phenomenal. <laughs> hi! Hey, hi, Pop. <laughs> 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 like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he likes people, so thanks for stopping. That's good. You say hi. <laughs> yeah, dogs get them barking, but people were a little better. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We've got our mini champagne roses. This is Fragrant Cloud, and yes, it's got a beautiful, very strong floral rose scent, and it's, yeah, can't say enough about it. Oh, dragonfly. Oh, flew away. Oh, look at that. You guys, I just bought this last week on a clearance sale. Don't be right there, honey. Don't be on camera. That's rude. Look at that blue with the orange. This is a yellow canna. I've never had canna. Always wanted it. Canna, I think, is zone 5 and higher. And I'm zone 4B, 5A, depending on the year. So, I push my zone, as you guys know. I'm sure you guys don't want yet another lecture on microclimates and how awesome they are. But this is a small microclimate next to concrete, which can retain warmth over the winter. Choke path. Little artichokes are doing amazing. So pretty. These aren't as lush as other years. Not sure. I mean, fertilizer, probably more mulching. Still pretty though. Y'all, I'm gonna take a look at this against the blue. That's a photograph. All right, here's our rose path. Is state of grace, burst of joy. We harvested a blueberry yesterday. Snakey is doing the job. Fake snake, y'all. Promise. See? See? Fake. I'm just wrapping them around. Changes place every day. I have two double delights because I got one in a package of surprise mixed. And I already had one, and it's one of my favorites, so we love it. Little juniper. And our halahaku planted last year. We didn't know what color it was going to be. Turned out to be one of my favorites. Pale pink. Mid-July. Look at my lettuce. And again, microclimates I created behind the tomatoes are doing their job. Looking fine. Some hard neck garlic. These are rounds. So I'm going to let them bloom and then dig them up. And the next year they'll go from rounds to bulbs. And another shot of what I call my luck. Because if I had a choice of a, some branches from maple. damage over all of this. 
Well, thank you, Mother Nature.